Okay, moving right along, we're on question number eight. You're on course 056 per standard magnetic compass when you sight Block Island North Light in line with Block Island Aero Beacon on a bearing. Based on this information, which of the following should you do? So I'm gonna look at these answers because um, I'm not exactly sure what direction I should take with this question. It says, I should know the compass error is four east. I should swing my vessel to check for deviation, which means maybe like my deviation is wrong. I should know that the deviation table is right or I should use three degrees west deviation on bearings of 193 per steering compass. So this tells me that there's some kind of compass or deviation element to this problem. Uh, so that gives me a heads up when I go and solve this. Um, but let's look back at the information that's given. It says Block Island North Light and Block Island Aero Beacon. Well, I definitely see an Aero Beacon labeled on this chart on Block Island. And I see that there's a lighthouse on the north end of the island, but I'm not exactly sure that that's Block Island North Light. So in order to check and verify, I'm gonna use the light list, volume one, uh, for the area that I'm in. And the easiest way to use this is to just go back into the index and find Block Island. All right, so there's Block Island North Light, Block Island North Light, 18075. And so then I go into the middle section of the book and I look for 18075. And there is 18075 Block Island North Light. And what I can do with this information is um, it gives me the latitude and longitude so I could plot it, uh, but also it gives me the light characteristics and the height and the geographic range of the light. So all that information is plotted on the chart already. So let me just double check. It's a flashing white light at five seconds that's 58 feet high and 13 mile range. Well, on the chart, all those things are true. It's a flashing five second light, 58 feet, 13 uh, miles um, geographic range. So I'm pretty confident that I now have the correct light. And so the problem tells me that these two lights are in line in my position. And it tells me that I see them on a bearing of 193. So they could be in line this way and I would be down, down in the southern area of the chart. But since it tells me that it's 193, I know that my boat is somewhere up here. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is just go ahead and connect the dots, as it were. These two lights are in line. So I know my ship is, you know, somewhere up here. And then I'll see what else I can do with the information that's given. It tells me that um, I'm on a course of 056 per standard magnetic compass. So Initially, that might not seem to be important, but if we're gonna do a deviation problem, then that could be. Um, and so I'm getting the vibe that this might be a trick question. So I'm gonna be careful as I set up my um, compass correction uh, stuff. And so I'm gonna use the acronym True Vampires Make Dull Companions at Wakes. Or again, if you were moving in the opposite direction, can dead men vote twice at elections, adding east that way, adding west this way. And I'm gonna fill in the information that I know. Well, I don't know any true courses, but I could actually, I could measure that. So that's something. I know that the variation is 15 degrees west because um, it's given in the problem. I don't know the magnetic or the deviation, um, but I do know that the compass course was one nine three degrees per standard um, magnetic compass. Um, so now I'm on a quest to find the rest of this information. So like I said, I could measure this and um, calculate the true bearing. So why don't I do that? And connect these dots right here and then I'll slide over. over to a meridian and I can read out the top that I come up with a value of um, 182 degrees true so this is 182 degrees true and so therefore if I'm doing all this um, compass correcting and uncorrecting I know that I'm adding west if I go in this direction so that makes um, this one nine seven degrees magnetic. Cool. And so that means I'm looking for this value. And 
Um, like I said, I was getting the vibe that this is a trick question and it, it definitely is. If you look into the deviation table, if you look into the deviation table, you might be tempted to say like, okay, I need to look at 197. And then I come down here and there's no 197, but I could estimate that we're going to be somewhere in this vicinity between 180 and 210 and, and apply that westerly deviation. But remember that the information in the problem said that I was on a heading of 056 degrees per steering compass. So that's actually what I need to use when I look at my deviation. So I need to be up in this vicinity getting east. Um, easterly deviation. So what I'll do is I'll reproduce this um, table from the from the problem and the bracketing values are 30 degrees and 60 degrees and those values are 3.0 degrees east and 4.0 degrees east deviation. Heading and so I'm not going to use this value. Nope. I'm going to use 056 degrees because that's what my heading is. Okay. So similar to the other problem, we're going to go through and do some ratios. So the gap here is 30. The gap here is 26. So 26 out of 30 is equal to gap here is just one. Um, and I'm looking for this. So x over 1. Um, so all I need to do is divide 26 by 30 and I get 0.866. So x equals 0 0.866. So I can kind of plug that back in. I go from 3 to 4 uh, and my answer would be 3.87 we'll say. And so that is the deviation um, and then um, what I need to do is plug that into this portion of it, we'll call it 3.87, and just verify that that all makes sense. So if I'm, and it's easterly error. So if I'm going this way, I need to subtract 197 minus 3.87, and I get 193.13. So rounded, I would get a correct answer. So I know that my deviation is correct for this heading. So on the answers, I'm inclined to choose um, answer C, know that the deviation table is correct. But I'm gonna look at all the other answers because they're trying to get tricky here. So answer A was know that the compass error is four east. And that's interesting because my deviation was almost four east. It, it was four east if you rounded it. But deviation is not the same as compass error. Compass error is um, a combination of variation and deviation. So that answer is incorrect. Swing my vessel. No, nope, I don't need to do that because my deviation is correct. And then the last answer, use three west deviation on bearings of 193. That doesn't make any sense. So um, I'm going to go with choice C that uh, my deviation table is correct.